I'd like to thank the Multiple Sclerosis Society for inviting Woody down today and uh, think that each of you should thank the society in itself for being proactive and, and getting this sort of somewhat controversial information out there. Uh, Dr Monty's been a professor of nutrition for a number of years and has come across this exciting news about multiple sclerosis and about methanol poisoning in, in particular. So uh, without further ado, I'd like to introduce Dr Monty. Well, thank you all for inviting me to, to give this presentation. Again, this is the second presentation of a series, the first part I gave two years ago. After I presented you the information two years ago, I went back to the United States and, and wrote a book about methanol and methanol poisoning and how it impacts uh, the public health. Uh, I'm very concerned about methanol. Methanol is a very unusual chemical. It's a chemical that is toxic only to humans and not to any laboratory animal. So it can't be tested on animals. So my greatest concern, and the reason I have this concern, is I'm a food scientist and I was very concerned when a company that was basically headed by Donald Rumsfeld insisted on introducing a sweetener about 27 years ago that major component was methyl alcohol. Methyl alcohol, again, cannot be tested on animals. It can only be tested on human, humans. And we, we're going to see, I'm going to show you a little bit about what its effects can be. My major concern is methyl alcohol, the symptoms of that methyl alcohol poisoning are identical in every way to the symptoms of multiple sclerosis. They cannot be differentiated. And so we're going to look at that today a little bit. and. I'm uh, going to try to uh, convince you that you should stop consuming methyl alcohol. Everything you need to learn about this is free on my website, including that chapter, and including a list of the few foods, a handful of foods, that you just avoid to stop consuming methyl alcohol. It's pretty... So there's, there can be no objection to this. I'm not telling you I think, I think, maybe it's a possibility. I'm saying, look, Right. Yeah, yeah, that's it. it this, the work's been done. I don't think any more work has to be done. You know, this is a hundred times better than the, these medical drug companies have come up with, up with their anti macrophage war. Jeepers, creepers, you know? So if, if you were, any of you were really hard scientists and could understand the, the implication of this, you know, you'd be stunned. I was stunned. You know, so this is it. So I'm, I'm just, I just want to encourage you to try this. It can't hurt you. It's going to save you money, probably. I mean, yeah. And um, basically, it's the only cause multiple sclerosis. Yeah. Can we reverse it? That's yeah. Well, here's, here's, I'm going to be honest with you with this. Can <coughs> we reverse multiple sclerosis? I've seen people. I've seen people have tried this, a few handful of people, you know, and none of them went the other way. All of them improved. None of them had a relapse. You know, and I hate to say this, but if you're a young person that's just started, you stop it. Yeah, I think, honestly, you'll stop it now. If you've had it for progressive for 20 or 30 years, what's got to happen is you've got to stop the damage from going on You've got to allow the body to remyelinate what it can remyelinate. All I know is it's a poisoning. The prudent thing is to stop the poisoning and let nature do what, it's, what it does best. Heal, you know. Which is wild science sleeps, one word, dot com. And on that website, the chapter of my book that deals strictly with multiple sclerosis is chapter nine. And that's free on the website. So you can download that chapter and, and read the chapter. All the references that I, I make reference to, the scientific references, are there on the website. And you can just download them uh, and read them. And uh, most people wouldn't know what they're reading, but I tried, what I tried to do is all the references that I have on that site are references that are important to me and are references that I've annotated for you. So I've underlined the important 
uh, sentences, uh, paragraphs, or whatever, so that you can get uh, at least what I've gotten out of it.